Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. In today's video, I'm gonna look at buying shoes online. It's the third video in a series. The first one I looked at was how to measure the length of your foot and whether there was any accuracy in that. And the second video was running in a series of shoes. Uh, so the Brooks Transcend 7, the On Running Cloud, Stratus, Fresh Foam 1080 V10 from New Balance, and the Hoka One One Clifton Edge. So I ran in all of these and I filmed them uh, largely from the back because I ran away from the camera, uh, sometimes to the front uh, and then from the side to see how I struck the ground. I took those and you take what I kind of gathered from that uh, and I'm gonna see two things. One is what happens when you go to an international shoe company, I'm gonna choose Brooks and try and find what they have to say about what I should buy and then to an independent running shop and in this case I chose Runner's Need. So today we're not going running so Yeah, let's not go running. Okay, okay, so here we are on the Brooks Running Ireland site. Uh, I'm gonna delete that COVID message out of that. And you can see we're in Ireland here, but you can change the country. And so somewhere down here, uh, free shipping on all orders over 75 euro, plus free returns. Uh, and we'll go down here. It's quite bright and interesting site with a whole lot of shoes that to me, all these look the same. Okay. It's really two models, but they lots of Brooks shoes look pretty similar, but we get down here. Shoe finder. Okay, running shoes. Cool, so this should take a second load. Your perfect shoe is out there. Well, that's good to know. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go choose road and gym as opposed to trail. And mileage, I'm doing 31 plus mileage. And what am I training for? The Chicago Virtual Half Marathon. Recent injuries, oh yeah, I had an arthroscopy on my knee. So you got that. Take them off. So all my shoes are off, you've seen them, they're on the table. Now, any of you watch my videos, I'm slightly duck-footed. I slightly go out like this, rather than I think they call this pigeon-toed, and on the left is like normal, or probably you. Um, but my feet point outward. What does this mean? Uh, your weight does not distribute evenly across your foot. Oh. Continue. Okay. The sort of this, I feel stable. Actually, I can balance pretty well. Uh, so I feel stable. And then, interesting, I'm asking about your mental stability, but we'll, we'll leave that for another day. What does this mean? Your forefoot, ankle ligaments, and soft tissue are strong. Okay, cool. That's nice to know. Now, when I bend down, actually, like I enjoy doing this one, and as I go down, it's asking me, how does the pressure on your hand change? The pressure increases. Okay, this will vary for all of you. My knees are moving in, which usually linked to a flatter arch. Okay. Continue. Flexibility. I fail this one. I'm not very flexible at all. So I'm not that flexible. Uh, your body parts handle movements together, meaning movements in the foot have the potential to negatively affect the knee. Well, I think the arthroscopy would be a good uh, hint to that. Uh, let's talk experience. Okay. And support. Blah, blah. Okay, I find this hard to do. Do what feel or do I want to float? I want the lightweight shoe that makes me to feel the ground. Uh, what more substance? I'll go with float. To be honest, I don't really know. And soft, no, I'm gonna go over springy. So I want to feel the ground, but I want to spring forward. Fall backward. Energize. Ah, continue to the final question. Now, I like this final question. I think Brooks says this nailed down pretty well. Uh, so what type of shoes do you prefer to run in? Not, are you a man or a woman or whatever, but I prefer to run in men's. Nicely uh, worded question. So lacing up my results. I've done this before, so I probably pretty much know what's going to tell me. So it tells me to get a Bedlam 2 or a Bedlam 3. Okay, lighter than ever. Uh, thanks to reforming, super springy, blah, 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 blah. It's got guide rails. Uh, it's got a sleek fit. Okay, as far as I know, this is actually a, a competitor or placement, a parallel shoe to my Brooks Transcend 7. So I'm going to buy this shoe. It's going to arrive. We're going to see how we get on. Hopefully it'll be good, but I'm going to buy it. I won't take you through my credit card details uh, for obvious reasons. So let's uh, get out of Brooks. Save your recommendations. Uh, create account, sign in. Okay, well, I'm going to get one of these. Uh, I imagine it'll take a couple of weeks to run to get 
uh, here. I've got a couple of other shoes. Uh, I actually got another pair of shoes upstairs that I need to run on and a few other things. But that's the experience of going to Brooks. I, I happen to really like this website. I've looked at a lot of different uh, shoe brands for what they do and how they guide you through it. I think Brooks do a really super job of it. Um, so that's Brooks. There's other ones. I mean, we might look at another one another time. But for the moment, uh, I'm going to order this pair of shoes and see how it get on. See how it compares to this one, this one, uh, this one, and this one. Cool. Okay. So we, uh, I've had a go at choosing shoes myself, and I've allowed Brooks to have a go. And we're going to compare what Brooks say to what uh, I'm going to go running in. And then I'm going to try and see what would a running specialist do. So I looked online and I saw that various places, and again, this video is made during COVID and you may not want to go into a store. If you can go into a store, great. But I thought, well, you may not be able to go into a store. So I decided to see where you could send footage off to or who you could contact online or whatever. And I looked at two places, Running Warehouse, but they're in the United States. And generally when you try and ship stuff here, there's a lot of expensive duty when it comes to the United States because here we're in, in Europe. Um, and so I didn't want to get someone to do all this analysis and then not buy a pair of shoes. I didn't think that was very fair. Uh, so I also looked at Runner's Need, um, which is a UK chain. They have a branch here in Dundrum in Dublin. And it used to be, I mean, back in the late 80s, early 90s, it was a small shop in Camden Town in London. And it's where I used to go to buy my shoes. And uh, I bought them online, these bad boys, these long bad boys uh, there. And so I decided to try and find out what they would do. And so uh, they asked you to email off a certain number of videos and you'll have seen from last week's video that I had videos of all these four shoes and me running the Fiends Park. And they asked me to send that off and then they asked me to take a picture of the base of the shoe and I'd also known the kilometerage or the mileage of each shoe. And I also sent some very badly worn Carbon X's, which I've loved and are upstairs. And it was actually really useful to send those because I think they got some good data out of that. Um, and then they asked me to not wearing any shoes to sort of bend. Uh, I think I had to bend my knees and drop down kind of like this. You can't see my knees, but it doesn't matter. Um, and do that from the front and from the back. I assumed it would be charged for it, either a standard charge or else, you know, they'd waive the charge bought a shoe. But apparently it was all free. Well, it was all free. I was a bit shocked by that, but I'm going to buy the shoe, whatever shoe has got recommended and I know it got recommended because I've read the report. Uh, and so they sent you a little report. In my case, it was really details, one page of really detailed stuff. They really looked at uh, what they were doing and I had a telephone call scheduled with uh, Steve. Uh, and he rang exactly at the time he said he would, which was three o'clock today, and uh, told me what shoe he thought I should buy. So let's have a quick look at what Steve had to say. So I got the report back from Runner's Need and it's really good. Uh, all running shoes fit differently. All that matters is comfort. The right running shoe is the one you don't notice on your feet. I couldn't agree more. I really, yeah, that, yeah. And then they talk about returns and exchanges and stuff like that. And then there's a whole page. I won't go through all this with you because it's, I guess they sent it to me, but I'll tell you some of the stuff. Um, so because I'd sent stuff with various shoes and uh, they analyzed all of the shoes, um, it was great. They did analysis of, of my, my Brooks Transcend 6s because I sent some pictures of worn ones of those. My 7s and uh, made some stuff like that. Talked about my, my knee bend exercise. Apparently it was okay. My gait. Um, uh, so my gait's okay, but they want me to stick my chest out and my hips forward. Um, it was it was really good. And then the recommended shoes. And they talked, and there's a, there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going through. Um, and I spoke on the phone to Steve for, gee, it might, it might have been 20 minutes, half an hour, and uh, about all sorts of stuff to do with the shoes. And I think that the more stuff you send, like pictures of different shoes and stuff, the more information you got back. But ultimately what they said was, yeah, they think I'm, as Steve says, I'm neutral. And I kind of like that. I didn't want to be massively pronating or over pronating. Um, and I bought these, when I bought these first, the Transcend ones, uh, well, actually, by the time I got through to the Transcend 7, I started weighing myself. And when I bought uh, uh, these, or maybe it's the Transcend 6s, I was about 2.7 kilogram, or sorry, uh, 27 kilograms heavier, which is a lot. I lost a lot of weight. Uh, and so when you're, when you're heavier, you need more support. And one of the reasons for trying out this kind of process is that now that, and these looked after me for seven iterations, uh, I don't need something so supportive, I don't think. So that was part of the reason behind all this. And so what, what uh, 
Steve recommended is a Brooks Glycerin 18 or a Hoka Clifton 7. And they also recommend the sizes because he's good done a sizing analysis and he reckons that a 12 in the Glycerin and a 12 and a half in the Hoka Clifton. Now, uh, I'm going to go and buy a Hoka Clifton 7 from Runner's Need. And the reason I'm going to do it is that um, Brooks have recommended the, I've forgotten the name, the Bedlam. And I'm going to try that. And then I was interested, I mean, I haven't liked this part of this shoe, and I'm not sure about this shoe. This is the Clifton Edge, which actually I did buy from Runner's Need, just as it happens. Um, and this size is a, uh, this is a 12, it's a US 12.5, but I, I fit pretty good in this. So I'm very happy to go and order a 12 in the Clifton 7 and see what the difference is. So again, I think it's much better if you can go into a running shop and talk to somebody there and try a variety of shoes when you're there. Um, I know I'm going to enjoy the Clifton 7 a bit more than this. Well, sorry, I don't know that I'm going to enjoy it more than this one, but I know I'm going to enjoy it because I actually quite, apart from the fact that it cut my ankles up, uh, you know, I learned the hard way. Um, it's an okay shoe to run in. Actually, I run it back to the lighthouse when I finish filming this. Um, but I, the, the other one is pretty much the same but shorter. Uh, and that means I'll be getting those and I'll be getting a pair of Brooks and we'll compare those to these ones in subsequent videos and see, you know, kind of di did what Brooks suggest do any good. I mean, none of these shoes are gonna do any harm. Uh, and in talking de de in depth to Steve and got, getting his report, um, I'm gonna analyze those shoes and uh, I know they're gonna be good. So uh, you may have other comments to make, that you may have a better way of doing things, uh, or you may have observations of your own. And if so, feel free to comment uh, down below or make any suggestions you like. But thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.